I have about as much energy as it sounds like I have. <laughs> It'll come to. I've got a pint of coffee in me, and uh, and it's not raining. Yesterday was a super, super draining day. It literally didn't stop raining till about 5 o'clock, I think. We worked till a little after 10. When we were sitting around here, Greg grabbed us some cold ones. I don't even think I had the energy to drink a beer, which says a lot. It was a tough day yesterday, but memorable. I will never forget yesterday. <laughs> Today there's a pretty high chance of rain, <laughs> so <laughs> there's also a 20% chance it won't rain, so that's a good thing. On a more positive note, here's me getting more energetic. Does that look amazing? <laughs> it probably looks like a bomb went off, but no, there's some really cool things that happened yesterday, even despite all the weather. Intake bay is basically all buttoned up. Walls are finished. Nick and Chris just killed it yesterday on the walls, making all their custom little cuts. You can see some of the lights and jets that have been put into the wall. Those are not easy cuts. So really cool that they got that kind of stuff done. Waterfalls are really, really coming along up at the top here. We've got obviously the, the span between um, the machine and the pond to still finish up over here. And then Bernie's Bridge has got to go in. And then a whole lot of grading, some landscape, probably the need of some sod, a whole lot of mulch and everything else. I can only imagine at five o'clock, Greg's gonna wanna turn it on and we're all gonna be like, So the guys from Harold's Propane came out and they hooked this all up in no time flat. These guys have been a huge help. John especially has been in contact with these guys. We are just excited. We're about to turn this thing on for the very first time. A little bit nervous, but I'm pretty happy that this thing hopefully is all wrapped up. So let's do the honors. Oh yeah. We have fire! That's a good feeling. That is a good feeling. That is like one of the biggest things that we checked off the list. So now that that thing's running, man, I am super stoked. And now we only have two more days left to work. So better get after it. Okay, we are loaded up. <laughs> with some shack size plants. Look at that beautiful Japanese maple there. We're just covering it up here and uh, bringing back the first load of plants. We have a, <laughs> a lot of area to cover, so I guarantee you we will be back filling this baby up again. Some grasses, some hedges, some sedums. Chris is using his botany degree, but uh, it's really not that complicated. Just make it look beautiful, which is what we're gonna do.
Come on, man, it's the details, kids, it's the details. I'm always bringing the carnies with me, the carnivorous plants, these pitcher plants. We always tuck them in the edge, it adds color and texture, and it breaks up the regular old boring edges of your pond. Today we're making incredible progress, which is a large part in due to the beautiful weather that Mother Nature has given us. I think it's lifted all of our spirits. The pond is now almost all the way done. We just had the one beach area back over here to finish, and the guys are bulldozing through the stream. It looks incredible. Bernie's Bridge, look at that thing. It's awesome. It's totally to scale to the rocks. Just shows you the scale of this project. I mean, it's a shack size build, so why not give them shack size rocks? You know what I mean? Nah, I mean. It's the light and the Christmas tree. As soon as the plants start coming in, it definitely has that finished look. Obviously going a little bit above and beyond and making sure the planting's done right too makes a whole lot of sense. And it didn't rain at all today, not one time. So Jack's a first timer. I've got so many more years on it, like, you know, I just can't even put it into words. But I feel that he's just finessing the station, you know? Like it's, it's just, he's finessing it. So what I'm trying to get him to do is just slop it on there really fast. Cause that's the way we do it. <laughs> coming together of course it's the last minute but this is typically how this goes our goal was to have the water flowing tonight be able to turn on the special urn that you're about to see here but uh, that rain really set us back about a half a day so tomorrow morning we're getting uh, our water truck we're gonna fill it up and then before shack uh, takes off we're gonna have this waterfall flowing and as much of the landscaping done as we possibly can this is exciting this is the last 10 percent that makes all the difference and it's coming together these guys really know what they're doing I love it So he created something pretty special for you in Canada. We shipped it to Chicago, we drove it all the way down here, and now it's for you. These are fountains right here with the color changing lights on them. And there's gonna be urns in there that you put fire on. Basically, you get to cheat your house. I've seen a lot of work done too. Don't look at the best cat, come and look at this. Here's what Joey did custom for you. Oh, you got the super moon. <laughs> no one in the world has one of those. I've been part of a lot of production, but I ain't never seen this much work done in two days. So. Hey, how about that, guys? <laughs> I want to appreciate you guys. I know we're going through a tough time, and you guys are here working in the rain, so I appreciate you very much. Yeah, so I'm going to send you all something special for me. So. Hey, awesome. all right. <laughs> Let's give Shaq an aquascape. Thanks. My team. These are these are guys that came from all over North America. It was an invite only. These are Aquascape Artists of the Year, and they actually volunteered their time to come out here and work on your pond. I uh, appreciate you guys. Thank you. All right. Yeah, but we talked about that. What the hell is all this? For? <laughs> <laughs> this is the stream. We got an Aquascape wetland filter there. We got another waterfall. We got a bridge. You want to walk down and see it? Yeah. We got your fire pit. Yeah, yeah. So she did two days <laughs> in the rain. Yesterday was tough. <laughs> yeah, we got a bridge all the way from California. Big Bernie made that in his welding shop. It holds me, it should hold you. 
This is the koi pond down here, yep. We got your sand beach over there, entranceway coming in, and this is going to be, you can just literally walk in with the kids. Fire pit. Yeah, the fire pit was kind of the centerpiece because that wall we built around those rocks in there, so you can literally sit in Adirondack chairs right on the edge of it, and the fish will come right up to the edge there. Nice. I would cry, but I'm not that type of guy. <laughs> so we turned the waterfall pumps on this morning, got it running, made sure everything was good, fixed a couple of low edges. Now we're draining the pond again, pumping it all out. We've got another 5,000 gallons of water trucks in out on the street, we're ready to fill it back up. So it's another rinse. Fill her up. We have a lot of plants to plant and a lot of cleanup to do. Head work on the patio to do, a lot of grading to keep the water away from the pond that Jack's working on now. Basically the last 10% of the job that's going to make this thing look stellar. You guys remember? It's over. <laughs> we finished. It was an epic, epic build. I think it'll be memorable for me for a lot of reasons. The rain, the crew that came out here, the rain, of course, Shaquille O'Neal himself. It was just an awesome, awesome experience. And uh, special shout out to Caterpillar, special shout out to Semco Stones. Another special shout out to Illinois Brick and Joel from Illinois Brick with helping us with everything. Of course, the CACs, an unbelievable dream team of a crew. There's no way we could have done this with any other team. Three days and we built an epic, epic water feature. Can't wait to show you guys the final reveal. It's gonna be insane. I know Greg's coming back in a few weeks. He's gonna bring some special fish for Shaq. We'll get the grass all cleaned up, resodded, a little bit more mulch, a couple more flowers. Patio will be finished, and I hope you guys like it. Hey, if you like this stuff, you know what to do. Like, comment, subscribe, <laughs> and we'll do it again. See ya.